Okay, so this is the second video on the uh, pandas in Python for uh, data analysis. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working with PyCharm. So first thing I wanna go ahead and do, if you never used it before, if you wanna configure anything, uh, you can just go over here where it says configure and then go to settings. So if you go to editor, that's the most important place where you need to, if you wanna go ahead and change like fonts, maybe you wanna make them bigger. Uh, by, by default, they're kinda small. So I think 25 is a good size. However, you can mess around with that. Um, but the most important thing we want to go ahead and do is go ahead and create a new project. And here, just uh, name it whatever. So um, you can call it Pandas uh, Data Analysis, something like that. In the project interpreter, uh, just make sure that you have a uh, Python interpreter pointing. For this one, it's Python 38, so 38.1. That's the one that we're going to be using. If for some reason you don't see it, you can just click over here. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, uh, go to your actual uh, C drive and then look for the app data uh, folder in here. Or you can also just type it in here. Um, you can just type in uh, C colon and then uh, slash, um, what is it, user, users and then slash again you can enter the slash and then in here you can type in your name so okay and then after that you enter another slash and then after that you can enter app data but actually app data is capitalized so app and then data like that and then just press enter and uh, then after that you can uh, go ahead and click on it okay and then in here you can go to local and in here you can go to uh, what is it programs I think yeah programs and then in here you can go to Python and then just what you want to do is you want to make sure that you uh, go to properties over here and go to security and get the full path like that just go ahead and copy that and then go ahead and paste it in here you would just paste it in here and uh, that's it so or actually uh, paste it in here I mean so you would just paste it in like that Okay, so that's it. Once you have the uh, project interpreter, you have a virtual env set up and then the uh, project name, you can just click on create. Once the project has been successfully created, this you will get some folder over here with the actual name. Then if you click on it, you'll see the virtual environment over here. Okay, and there's no file as far as no Python files. If you wanna go ahead and create a file, just go ahead and click on the uh, folder name and then uh, you wanna go ahead and uh, right click and then uh, new and then Python file. And then we're going to name this one, uh, for right now, we're just going to name it uh, main, it don't matter, whatever name you want to give, that's fine. And uh, it'll go ahead and create the uh, file. Uh, you don't have to enter the .py, it automatically knows. As far as for the uh, virtual environment over here, um, if you uh, go to live, and then site packages, and then basically over here, you're, you'll see all the uh, installed packages. So for right now, we haven't installed anything. As you see, pip and um, setup tools is already there, so we don't have to worry about that. And pip is what we're gonna look at next. We wanna make sure we understand pip a little bit. Uh, but before we do that, you have the uh, scripts folder here. And uh, if for some reason your uh, virtual environment is not activated by default, so the way to test that out is if you hover towards the bottom and you open up the terminal, you should see this over here, starting with uh, VNV or VENV within um, Parentheses. If you don't see this, that means it's not activated. So you want to go ahead and activate. So to be able to do that, what you would do is uh, you would just go ahead and copy um, the activate that bat, copy the path, absolute path, and then in here, you want to go ahead and CD into it, and then paste, and then uh, don't run. Just you want to just CD into it. Don't um, make sure you take out the activate that bat, and then press enter. And once you're in there, you can just go ahead and run the activate that bat like that and that's it it should be activated that's just if for some reason it's not activated but it should be one way to make sure that it's always activated is if you go to settings and then you go to tools and then you go to terminal at the bottom it says activate virtual env make sure that's clicked that way it's always activated otherwise you might have to always do that uh bat command and you don't want to be doing that so okay so let's uh let's go back 
now let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we want to go ahead before we install pandas is we want to go ahead and take a look at pip that way we know what pip is so pip's already installed um, one thing you might want to do is you want to go ahead and update it but it's not really necessary unless it's throwing some errors then you can actually go ahead and update however whatever you get by default should be able to work so uh, if we do pip list it should give you all the available packages that are installed so as you see only pip and setup tools is installed uh, to be able to update anything you can just do pip install and then the name of the package like we'll do pip and then dash dash upgrade so that will go ahead and update it um, but usually uh, what it's done is we pass python dash m to do something like that if you just do pip install pip upgrade it might not uh, want that we'll go ahead and try it out see what happens what you want to do is you want to downgrade so you would do pip um, or actually it's python uh, dash m and then pip and then install and then do pip again and then equals to and then we're going to do 19.3 3.1 is the version that always works so want to go ahead and let's do that so now as you see pip has been in, uh, the 19.3 has been uh, installed so it downgraded from the latest one since the latest one was giving some errors but now what we can do is we can actually uh, run the python.pip and then it's do pip install pip and then do the dash dash upgrade and uh, I believe this time it should work. We installed the latest one. So now that we have the latest pip available, we can uh, go ahead and install pandas. So to be able to install any packages, it's just a pip install. And then the name of the package. So we're gonna do pandas. Now we have successfully installed pandas and numpy along with it and python.util, pytc and 6. So all these other dependencies got installed directly. So that's one of the advantages of using uh, PyCharm that it basically and using pip that it uh, basically you know it grabs everything and installs everything for you. You don't have to install dependencies and stuff like that because that can be a pain. So that's why pip is always the best way to go about installing and um, okay so that's it we installed pandas now we can actually go back to our file and then to be able to import pandas and start working with it just import pandas and it's always referred to as pd by default so we'll go ahead and stick with that okay and now if we do pd dot anything we should be able to get something so if we do pd dot uh, we'll do read sometimes uh, if you see here it says three processes running so it might be um, updating so if the cursor is just blinking it doesn't show anything it just means that uh, it's going to update but um, it should it shouldn't take that long so we'll go ahead and try it one more time pd dot was do read so now as you see it gives us all these uh, options so this is uh, some one of the advantages also of using pycharm that you're going to be able to easily go through all this and uh, to be able to pick any of these like for example if when I go ahead and read a CSV file we just press enter and that's it okay also these things here these yellow ones are just warnings those are no big deal however whenever you see something like uh, from I'm gonna say pop install as you see pop right there it gave us a red squiggly line basically what that means is that there's something wrong with it if you hover over it it's gonna say unresolved reference pop it basically means there's nothing named pop so which is not we don't have anything installed named pop so whenever you see a red line means something it's not right so you want to go ahead and hover over it and it should give you an idea uh, you can also look at uh, rename reference and also more actions okay so Okay, so that's it. We've installed pandas. In uh, next video, we'll go ahead and get started with pandas. We're going to go ahead and look at how to be able to uh, import uh, CSV files and start working with those. And uh, 
also we'll go ahead and uh, install Jupyter Notebook that way we can visualize uh, and make it look a little bit better uh, so that's it for now bye